Hi guys, welcome to Celeb Villa SA, where you get the latest news on all things trending and newsworthy. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also don't forget to hit that bell so you never miss any of my uploads. Uncle Waffles gained her stardom through her facial expressions and dance moves, which people really, really fell in love with, particularly through the song Adiwele. She's actually a DJ. Slick Talk, however, says that the DJ has no talent. He also actually shared his views previously when he visited Podcast and Chill with Mac G. However, this time, he seems to have gone a little too far, as the comedian Coconut Curls is clearly fed up with Slick Talk and didn't shy away from calling him out on her Twitter page and labeled him as a misogynist. With some of the comments Slick Talk made saying she is the worst highest paid DJ he has ever seen in his life, he also referred to her as a pretty girl with no talent. Coconut Cows was just not having it and called him a hater and wrote, What a misogynistic loser. This screams Eminem stand at the end when he's mad. M didn't write back. Pierce Morgan misogynoir due to mediocrity and rejection energy. The type who hates black women because they wouldn't piss on him if he was on fire. Ill. She also added, he's clearly a hater, but then he is body shaming two women much smaller than him, saying a 21-year-old looked better at 19, creepy as F. Yo, people hate it when especially black women attain success. Like, damn, y'all can't even hide it. And Gamu is sensational, please. Now, Slick Talk had also mentioned something about Kamon Pella's weight gain. With all the hate that has been happening around Uncle Waffles, Casper Nieves also entered with his own verdict, stating that people fell in love with her for her passion, as she didn't mean for her video to trend. And he told the tweets to just let the girl have her moment. Good YouTube, this is Slick Talk, and I'm back with another video. So I was hearing people talk about Uncle Waffle and how amazing of a DJ she is. There's a lot of hype around this girl. Then I said, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I judged her too quickly. Let me actually listen to her set and hear what she has to say. And I have to say, this girl is the worst, highest paid DJ I've ever heard in my life. Everything about her set was garbage. I'm talking about everything, the mixing, the songs. She was playing songs from 2019. This is what I hate about this internet sensation thing that we like to do. We like to overhype people and make them think that they're talented. Uncle Waffle has zero talent. She's a pretty girl, I'll give her that. But not as pretty as she was when she was 19, but she's a pretty girl, but... She's not talented. She has zero talent. When I was saying this girl reminds me of the whistle girl, this is what I was talking about. No talent, nothing, nothing to offer. She can dance. I'll give her that. She can dance. She has a great stomach. Great. Congratulations. You can dance. But we have a million dancers out there. What more can you do? What else do you have to offer? My thing is, right, when the Adiwele song falls off, is Uncle Waffles going to be here? I don't think so. And she has the nerve to want to be paid more than Young Stunner. Let me give you a reality check, Uncle Waffle. Young Stunner is way more talented than you. You are not even close to Young Stunner when it comes to talent level. So for you to want to be paid more when it comes to the gigs, you're not even close to Young Stunner. Young Stunner is going to be here in 2022. Uncle Waffles is not going to be here. Uncle Waffles, you are 10 kilograms away from falling off. And that is a fact. Ask Kamon Pella. She knows. You are 10 kilos away from falling off. You start eating on in the road, you're done, baby girl. You're done. You have no talent. I was listening to her set and I was thinking she was going to wow me. I was thinking she's going to give me something new, something that I've never seen before. But she's an amateur DJ at best. And she learned six months ago to DJ. How do we expect somebody that learned to DJ six months ago to be great at what she does? She's overpaid, she's overhyped, and she's overrated in my opinion. She has no talent, she's never had